like, oh, yell out, out loud to yourself. Yell out loud to myself, yeah. Is that where, like, Zen Lini really gets it out? You know, like, you're you're all Zen and when you see people, but really when you get oh, in the yeah. car... When... So sad. What a remake. What a game. There's your stomp. This should be your first blood. No way to deny this. And Sometimes, Ben, you have those remakes. That was weird. He... But I guess when Ogre's there to take the beating, you don't really need it. Well, a bit of a dance here in the river as Vangscore walks directly into Arkstyle, straight into the stun. But he lives and ends up getting the kill first. Nicely played by him. I did not expect him. Dual breath points at all. Oh, Arkstyle. So He's yeah. toast. They've got the Reaper too. Delete him from the game for third. Oh, maybe not. The silence is there. A timely rotation from your Skyrath and down he'll go. That looked like a freebie. Dentar. Yeah, he wanted to like either save it or just ma make extra sure that he got the kill. And uh, any hesitation ends up costing him. As Vlad and Artstyle will group up bottom lane, they look to make a go here on Havos. Perhaps they are going to stampede directly on top of him again, that silence! And again, another death for Havos. Vangscore trying to salvage this one. Not sure if it'll be good enough. He'll try. Artstyle in pursuit. He's going to have to back up. Nope, he's committed. He thought he could maybe get him to shatter there, but not the case as Sanika also rotates in. He'll get stunned under the tower. They'd want this Venge way too badly. He's gonna pay with his life. Like, the Blink Dagger isn't particularly useful. Yeah, you don't want to open with the Reaper either, in general. They're gonna try it to open on Havost as the Mystic player will find him. He gets pulled. Havost <laughs> swapped out, then walks back into the Ice Blast. Oh, mamma mia. It's here and there. They want to make a go on him, but should they do that? Havost is ready. Bunnick blinking forward. He looks for the. No, he's gonna get caught out. Oh, not again, Havost. It's four deaths in as many minutes. Another Ice Path, he can go for this kill, but it might cost him his own life. He's looking for support. Goblek also on the way in, moseying forward as Vlad and Moon make their retreat. Still in the lane is Vlad. Gets caught out by a Yule Scepter, then the Ice Path to follow this one up. Your Skyrath Mage, maybe not long for this world, he'll try to turn the Mystic Plant Throne in completely the wrong location. Oh my, what's going on there? Now the grip to come through. Sonika also trapped out at the same time mid lane. There's a bit of a dive under Immune. He'll end up going down here. It looks like the one more right click from Dendimon, or at least the Plasma Field. He's pretty much done for. In the end, he will fall, and it looks like Sonika able to survive through that. Now B-Ban is... They are trailing 9 to 11, but gold going their way thanks to these towers picked off, and more importantly, Havos is finally getting some traction. Nice miss, nice ultimate there from the Jakiro to bring down the, the lumbering beast. The ogre will fall, that behemoth is down, and Moon could well be next. He has a time lapse to move this dust, but a secondary ice pad comes through. Then your Reaper Scythe, Havost, the fourth hero to arrive at this fight, will make it an easy kill. And now an 11 to 11. Scepter, blink initiation, Dendi walking on in. They will stampede immediately to defend or try and retreat from this aggression, but Thanksgore gonna get that nice offensive swap, preventing the retreat. Havos gonna be KB, uses the ultimate, gets the kill. Removes the Skyrath for 70 seconds, not the most important. AA. Hey, hey. And it's hard to just win the game early as AA. You can, like, find a kill here or there, but you don't take towers that well. They're just good. Wow, early BKB from Denny. He's got Refresher, so why the hell not? That was your 10 second BKB. He's got 9 more seconds of Magic Beauty. Even after this first one ends, they will get the kill on Funny Shakiro. Buyback instantly from the Skyrath as he went down. Now Vangscore swapping Arcs up forward. He gets Reaper. No return for him to this fight. Dendi still with the 9 second BKB, the double ultimate, just eviscerating this NIP. What can NIP do? They can't really blink stomp, they'll try, but not quick enough on the jump in there. Also not in range, just Havos will jump in. Reapers was not used, just the early BKB. That's a bit unfortunate, they still have this defensive swap to back him up. And Moon will now join the fight, he's gonna deso charge on the Funic, blows him up quickly, nice pick off there, but can they deal with Dendi? He's used one ultimate, he doesn't have the refresher, doesn't need it either. Weaver, blown up, but he did not die during the Necrophos ult it looks like. And, oh, actually he just buys back anyway, not gonna matter. Dendi, able to re retreat out, he'll get nuked down by the Ogre, yeah there's no eggs on Oh they lost the gem. On the Necro anyway, so scratch that thought. As Dendi will get caught out a second time, he doesn't have refresher. Sure, Navi wiping with four heroes at the enemy base. Havos, the lone survivor. A complete train wreck. It all started with. But let's see if they get that opening. Yeah, Havos does not have that much armor. Nice path coming through. Funic again being chased out by the bug. The Reaper Scythe used. That will remove Sonika from the fight. Funic not killed off just yet. He managed to go in biz with this casual shadow amulet. It won't save him as Vlad noticed it and just drops down the Mystic Flare. Nice takedown. 
as Denny will march in first ultimate use. He's got the second one at the ready. Should be KB. And then I'll refresh. And then I'll ult again. And yeah, here we go. Straight onto your melee racks. They're pretty much going to lose this regardless. Question is if they can at least turn. They go for the blink stop. Denny was still BKB. That got nothing done. Now Artstyle gripped in the front lines as Denny's BKB will finally end. The Weaver begins to work on him, but the Weaver ends up dying too quickly. Avosin just charging towards the enemy backlines. Down to the tier fours. Mr. Four going deep for this immune kill. Wants to auto tag him down. It will be your Takiro who gets it. No, that's two lanes of racks. They look for a third. Up to the top lane. Dendi will go with Vanscore by his side. Not didn't really have answers to the BKBs. They'll march in. They'll look to kill off Vlad. Avost trying to use that shadow amulet on him was funny, but it doesn't work when Avost is constantly running around eager for blood. They'll bring down the third lane of Rax here, and this should be your GG any minute. Nice Reaper. Well, Ben, I'm still not really convinced by Navi, I gotta say. Yeah, they're, I mean, their drafts, their draft this game I think was just much better with the early tower pressure. Like, NIP weren't really able to take any towers until far too late. And yeah, no solution for Razor. Not that much physical damage aside from Weaver, but Weaver, if he's the only one that's even a threat, he just gets gripped or revered or static linked or, you know, just focused down by Razor. I mean, it, it's just. They did. A, they played well early too. They got a lot of kills on Havos. Skywrath ran around. He um, secured AA's farm in the mid lane. He ganked top. Like they did a lot. As much they did a lot. As much as they could. Yeah, you run that H trap pressure mid, and and then a Weaver core as well. Not somebody can really take the team fights. They go back in for Goblet here. Arkstar desperately trying to hang on, but your throne's about to be under siege, my friend. Mega creeps are there. Just wants to collect a few more kills. As it looks like NIP will drop. They will drop to one and five on the other side of this equation. So they need early blink dagger on Centaur. Maybe. Uh, could test Necrophos' farm a little bit more. Uh, to be fair, he, they didn't really need to because he just died, but it still would have been a better game plan than what they had going, which is let him farm up, get BKBs, and then lose. Well, NIP looking bleak for them to have any shot at going to the land finals from Kiev. They would have to go, I believe, like 9-0 from now. Not seeing that happening. I don't even know who they have to Easy play. Easy godlike streak. That would be impressive. What a run it would be. Well, for now, one and five. Congratulations, Tanavi. Definitely not the easiest win, but a win's a win here, and they will improve to three and zero. Oh.